Hi listeners, it's Tim here and just before we get started with today's episode, I wanted to let you know about an exciting new development here at Top Music and that's the launch of our brand new Guitar Teachers Program which is happening in October 2021. Building on our experience helping piano teachers have more fun, achieve more success and feel more confident in both their teaching and business, we'll soon be opening the doors to do the same for the world's guitar teachers. So if you or someone you know is a guitar teacher of any level or ability, please head to topmusic.co slash stay tuned so that we can let you know all the details when we go live. That's topmusic.co slash stay tuned. That's all one word. Okay, let's get on with today's show. The first one, as I mentioned earlier, is the Guitar Teacher's Roadmap. And this is something that doesn't matter whether you're a beginner guitar player looking to start with teaching or you've been teaching for a couple of months and you're really struggling or whether you've been at it for a couple of years or even decades, the Guitar Teacher's Roadmap is basically going to go, here's where you should begin, here's some of the end goals you can work towards and here's all the steps you need to take along the way to level up your teaching, to improve your business skills, to do some personal development and success mindset principles, as well as pedagogy studies and just being able to have human psychology and learning psychology so that it can build better relationships with students, a team member, your community, all those kind of things. Hi teachers, it's Tim here and welcome back to the Topcast. You're listening to episode number 262 and this is, I know I always say how excited I am by episodes, but this one truly is one of the most exciting times that we've experienced in top music history because today we are unearthing the launch of our Top Music Guitar program. This is something we've been working on behind the scenes for months and months. And today I'm going to be joined by our head of guitar, Michael Gumley, to talk all about what's happening, what we've built, why we've built it, and how you and any guitar teachers that you know, because we'd love for you to spread the word, can get connected and join us. My guest today, Michael Gumley, is our head of guitar at Top Music and owner of the Melbourne Guitar Academy. He didn't actually start playing guitar until he was 15, but was instantly hooked from the very first note he played. Almost every waking moment since has been spent with a guitar in hand and visions of being a rock star in mind. And he actually was a rock star for a while. Uh, He'd go on to complete his VCE music here in Australia and enroll in a Bachelor of Music performance at university. Michael brings his passion for music and love of all things guitar to each and every lesson and seeks to capture the same excitement and wonder that captivated him during his guitar journey with all of his students and now with all of the amazing guitar teachers around the world. Michael Gumbly, so cool to have you back on the show today. Uh, How are you going? I'm great and it's always good to be back. It's a very, very exciting day because today is the official podcast to launch the new Top Music Guitar Program, which I'm really excited by. And this is actually part four in our series. So a little bit earlier last month or the month before, we uh, had a three-part series. It was episode number 254 was part one with Michael and that was about forming an identity as a musician and it was an introduction to Michael's own story as a guitarist and a guitar student and then part two was episode 255 that was about teaching um, guitar with the 80-20 Pareto principle and a whole lot of other cool stuff there too and then part three was it was more on specifically guitar teaching stuff and that was uh, episode 256 so this is kind of like part four and today what are we going to be covering in the uh, in the show Michael? Well, we've obviously got some very exciting news in the launch of our upcoming Top Music Guitar Program, a specific developmental program and membership for guitar teachers wanting to level up their teaching and upskill. But of course, we're going to be talking about the webinar that we've got coming up as well to help us introduce that whole program. So that's essentially what we're going to be talking about today, our program, the webinar we've got coming up and how it's going to help you as a guitar teacher and music teachers in general. Not everything we do is going to be guitar specific. Everyone can benefit from it. But often, you know, Top Music's done a fantastic job at catering for piano teachers and vocal teachers and general musical ideas and education. But now we're going to get really specific with the guitar side of things. Yeah, sounds great. I'm super pumped for this. I mean, we've been working on this for months and months. You've got a lifetime of experience behind you for the content that you're creating, which we'll hear about a little bit later. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just so keen to get it going and uh, and hang out with you and all these cool guitarists from around the world on our webinar, which is in about a week's time. More on that a little bit later. But let's start with the details. What is Top Music Guitar? What's it all about? Yeah, so Top Music Guitar, as we said, it's. It's a program for guitar teachers to help them level up their skills, to become better teachers, to have a more impactful presence in their students' lives, and also to get organized in the business side of things. But we also 
in addition to it being a course, we want it to be a community as well. And I think that's something that Top Music does really well with its piano teachers and music teachers is it becomes more than just an online course where you learn some skills, learn some business tips, and you, you either implement it or you don't. What you do is you meet other people and become part of a community. And that accountability factor, both from having you know a coach as well as having a peer group, is a really important part of things because obviously – I've got 11 years, 12 years of teaching experience now, and we're going to be getting some other professional guitar teachers and musical educators involved to share. But that's only a tip of the iceberg when it comes to the whole collective, you know, mastermind of all the teachers and brains involved in the community. So um, there's things that I'm still learning. You know, the best uh, rule number one of being an expert is you never stop learning and never stop implementing and trying ideas. But that's what we're going to be doing is sharing the wealth of my knowledge what helped me to become a better teacher and to make more money in my music business and to help my students even better and setting you guys on the path and, and sharing that experience, but also learning from you guys and people who are a bit further ahead in specific niches or programs and we can bring those together. Yeah, exactly right. And I remember when I started, uh, I, I started Top Music itself, I, I was really happy to put up my hand and say, you know, I don't have all the answers. I'm not necessarily the best teacher for every student. I've lost students. I've made mistakes and all that kind of stuff. But the power is in that community, as you said. Uh, I, I once went to an event um, here in Melbourne and they talked about the collective genius of the room. Uh, and I really loved that phrase because that's what it's all about. It's about bringing amazing people together at all different stages who teach all different ways and in all different levels and in all different countries and learn from those people. Uh, and I think that is, that's the true power of this kind of a community. 100%. And there's going to be guitar teachers out there who have tried teaching kids, found out they didn't like it or they couldn't connect with their kids. And now they're missing out on a really enjoyable and rewarding part of uh, teaching teaching kids and sharing their passion with, you know, the younger generation. And if they can just connect with teachers who are successfully already teaching kids and, and they can get some tips and ideas from them, that can have a massive impact on what they do and vice versa. There, there's teachers who are just new to the whole teaching thing who might be really nervous about getting players who are more advanced than them or teaching above a certain age because they don't feel like they're, they have the competency. So those people are also going to benefit from the community as well as the teaching group and the programs and all the education that we're providing here. Right. And one thing I'm really passionate about too in the Top Music family, and it really is a family of, of teachers and, and the team that we have here, is that we're really strong on, on moderating when uh, people want to ask the simplest question, that is totally fine. It's it's uh, sad to see sometimes in some Facebook groups and free things like that where people you know ask what seems like a pretty cool, simple question and they just get a barrage of people <laughs> kind of piling on them. I really hate that. So I love the fact that, in fact, we don't even have to moderate very much in, in any of our forums because the people inside are just committed to supporting and helping each other. And that's what really brings, brings a, a group together like this for a successful outcome 100 percent. it's funny you say that just this morning I, I scrolled past a meme that said um you know professional musicians or good musicians don't make fun of aspiring musicians when they're first starting out and i thought well what a great thing we can say and adjust for our teachers as well often people who are just starting out you know in those groups get knocked down by people who are a little bit further ahead or are really really set in their ways and they can you know stop asking questions which is one of the worst things that can ever happen you always want your students asking questions and getting the answers you know, that's the premise behind all those uh, if you're an australian listener you'll know what i'm talking about when i say like a work cover ad for right. those safety <laughs> things. but often like the simplest problems can be overcome just by having the courage to ask a question and by having a, a safe um, warm environment that's conducive to learning and wants you to ask questions and members that delight in sharing their passion and what they've learned with you are going to encourage that. And I think that's something that's really important that we offer and are going to you know, extend that invitation to more and more guitar teachers who are sick of getting uh, you know, their heads bitten off in Facebook <laughs> groups and things like that or are just you know, being told they're wrong or just fighting with people in the YouTube section. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So what excites you most about the program we're launching here? I'm just really, really excited to be helping a lot of new teachers who are passionate about what they do and, you know, where they're heading with their teaching. And I always think about, you know, when I start a new program with a, a personal development coach or a mentor or things like that, just that real raw sense of excitement and that hope 
about the future that you're going to have. And yeah, I can make stuff happen and I can do stuff. And the idea that I can be that mentor and that coach for aspiring guitar teachers or guitar players wanting to get into teaching and give them that sense of hope is, yes, you can become a better teacher. Yes, you can earn a full-time living through teaching and music. Yes, you can quit your day job and focus entirely on your music and still support your family and all those kind of things. So the idea that I can help people like that and share my decades of experience, whether people are just beginning, whether they're a couple of years in or whether they're, you know, 10, 20 years in still stuck at the same level, the idea that I can give them aha moments and help them break through is, you know, what really gets me excited about this. You can hear the passion in your voice. I can see it in your face, but the listeners will be able to hear it in your voice. It's so exciting. And I just love uh, having a look at some of the resources and videos you've already created for us and that passion just comes through. You want to help people, we're here to help and support you. We want you to be as successful as possible and that is why we're doing this. So the Top Music Guitar Program is going to be a membership inside our Top Music Pro membership where we currently have predominantly supported piano teachers but as you say, we, we have teachers of a whole variety of instruments in there but most of our pedagogy, our teaching resources are based around um, piano and general musicality. So it's going to be wonderful to open this up to guitar. So people are going to log into the membership. Tell us about some of the stuff that they're going to have access to once they're in there. Yeah, so once they're inside, they're going to have access to a lot of video material in the form of courses, in the form of workshops about what they can learn um, and implement in their own studios and teaching and there's also going to be a whole bunch of pedagogy stuff and teaching resources so i've put together kind of like a a core course um, which we'll talk about in more depth in, in a moment basically kind of like a roadmap that takes students from wherever they are now to where they want to go and you just hop on that road wherever you're at in your journey and you start walking but there's going to be things you know how do you become a better group teacher how do you teach better in private lessons what are the kind of things you need for contemporary guitar teaching how do you keep more students as well as more educational specific stuff so whether you're in for the business stuff and you want to make more money or whether you want to just level up your teaching and improve there's going to be you know, without being cliche and saying there's something for everyone there's going to be important things that you can take from it no matter where you are in your teaching journey and what might be really valuable for you as a beginner teacher not knowing how to actually teach because you've just finished your uni degree, you know, you're in your early 20s or so, and you wanna get into teaching, but you've got no idea because uni taught you how to play your instrument, but they never taught you how to become a teacher. And they said, yep, you can go and be a professional musician, but they never actually taught you anything about financing. You guys are gonna get to learn all the awesome stuff from the start, whereas someone might be five years into their teaching and they might be at a problem where they've got no problem getting uh, at a point where they've got no problem getting students but keeping them is the problem because you can't connect with everyone or people are dropping off or they're not interested in what you're doing so you're going to get benefits from a different area and how to teach students how to attract and find better students how to make lessons more fun and engaging and then of course there might be people who are 20 years in who are maxed out their available time but still need to make more money so that's where the business side of things are going to be really important for you so without saying um you know everyone's gonna get something from it or we've made a course for everyone. No, we've got a huge range of content that's gonna be relevant and, spe uh, and specifically relevant to different people at different points in their career and their journey. Mm. And it's worth mentioning that one of our guiding values at Top Music is that we, we never seek to dictate what you must do or license you into locked in methods and say, no, you're doing that all wrong. Here's the only one way that you need to do things. What we really do is provide opportunities, um, show you possibilities and guide you as best we can. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's important to remember, I guess, that teachers like you and me, we all come to teaching with our own sort of sets of beliefs and approaches and things like that. And so it's not about taking a big sledgehammer to that and saying, no, nah, it's all wrong, you've got to do it this way. It's about sort of going, well, here's some other cool things to do. Have you thought about doing this or did you know that this existed or how about this or have you thought about the goal and the strategy and things like that? It, it, that's the kind of thing we're talking about, right? 100%. I think one thing the gym and fitness industry does really well that music teachers can learn from is if you go to a personal trainer and say, hey, Bob, I want to lose some weight, he's going to give you an exercise plan. But if you say, hey, Bob, I've got to build muscle, then he's going to give you a different exercise plan. And if you say, hey, Bob, I'm competing in a marathon in, in 12 weeks' time, I need to get marathon ready, he's going to come up with an entirely different plan. And, you know, we as guitar students often go, all right, you're here to learn guitar, sorry, guitar teachers. Here's the book, you open up the book, lesson one, here we go. It doesn't matter what your goal is, doesn't matter what the end outcome is, 
we're all going on the same path and we're doing it by the books. Whereas what we want to take is a more dynamic approach where just with our students, we should say, okay, well, what's the goal the student has in mind and how can we help them get to that goal? I'm doing the exact same thing with this teaching content and saying, well, what is the goal? And what are you trying to get as your outcome? And here's some ways you can try to get there. Here's some cool teaching tips which will work. You know, you can do group lessons. Here you can do private lessons. If you're going to do groups, try this. If you're going to do privates, try this. There is no one that is better than the other. Certain ones will be better for getting certain outcomes. If you want to make more money, then of course, you need the leverage of the group. If you want to get really specific, detailed stuff and build really, really strong relationships with the students, then maybe private lessons is a better option. Why not both? Can you do a hybrid model? So just like in our teaching, there's no one right way. We can simply go, okay, what are all the options? How would we go about them in the best way? And then of course, from there, pick what's going to be best for the outcome that you want. And that's what we're doing here is giving our students and our members, sorry, the biggest selection of things that they can find what is applicable to them at the point in time that they're at. I really like that gym uh, membership. That is the simplest explanation I've seen to discuss, to to sort of um, highlight that you, we do need to take into consideration where our students are at, particularly as they get older. Uh, I mean, if you're taking on a six-year-old, then you're probably going to set the path more or less for them, right? But if you're taking on a 16-year-old, yeah, you want to find out where they're actually going and then tailor the program for them just as you would in the gym. I really like that one. I'm going to steal that one from you, Michael. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Well, if you like that analogy, I'm sure some of the listeners did too. Something that makes up my teaching you know, signature or something I like to do is just try and use as many analogies as possible. So if you like that one, I've got hundreds more and you're going to learn <laughs> all about them in this membership. There's even going to be a module on you know specific analogies. And this is something that I train my teachers on at my at Melbourne Guitar Academy. We often we've got a big list of when you're explaining something, here's some really good analogies that help people make sense. And you know, a bit of learning psychology, you often have to adjust your language to the person that's in the room with you. And obviously whether that's a six year old, a 10 year old, a 15 year old, a 20 year old, a six year old, you've got to talk the language that makes sense to them. But often analogies, specifically food analogies, work really, really well. So we're going to be sharing heaps of those in a specific workshop within this guitar teaching membership as well. That <laughs> sounds like it's going to be valuable for all all teachers, not just guitar teachers too. I, I've always liked um, sports analogies and uh, my two favorites, just quickly, uh, one is the idea that if you're going to be training for, let's say you want to be a tennis player, do you go to all your tennis training sessions and play games? Well, no, you do drills and you warm up and you hit balls over the net with one hand the whole time. It's the same with an instrument. You need to break it down and do the drills as well as play the piece start to finish. That was one thing I've always loved. The other one is my walk the track uh, analogy, which I've only found out about race cars walking the track. Did you know about this? So the Formula One, One drivers, so if you need a kid to slow down and understand the concept, race car drivers, Formula One, will walk the track before they race it to get a feeling for every single little piece of the corners and the, you know, not a race car driver, so I don't really understand, but I get the idea, before they go speeding around it at high speed. So if you've got a speed demon in your studio, Teach them about walking the track. They've got to slow down to really understand the piece. Practice slowly before they can do it fast. I've always loved that one. Oh, wonderful. Um, we do a similar thing. We call it read the map. And uh, oh, we yeah. do lots of fire analogies as well. But, you know, if you're looking for the treasure, you've got to read the map and you need to know where X marks the spot. Or if you're shooting at a target, you have to look at the target and aim at the target before you fire. If you're just firing off arrows, you know, really nearly without looking, that's the equivalent of like trying to read the music and play at the same time. No, read the music, read the map, get a clear picture of where you want to go in your head or where the target is, and then go for it. And we can do, Tim, later on a whole topic of uh, yeah. another podcast. <laughs> we on, should do that. Uh, specific <laughs> analogies or specific, you know, the uh, psychology of learning and how you can, you know, visualize and do all these kind of things, which are all really important. But uh, again, any cool topics we talk about are guaranteed to come up in the membership as specific workshops, not so much as like, you know, a, a 10 hour course for you to do, but a, a 45 minute to a 60 minute specific workshop where you can grab 10 really cool tricks that you can put straight into your teaching straight away and have a massive impact on your students. Mm, absolutely love it. Well, wh why don't we talk through, have you got um, some information about some of those core courses that we're going to have in there for members at the start? And of course, keep in mind, everyone that's listening, 
as the our membership has grown over the last five years that we've run it um, inside Top Music Pro for, as I said, predominantly piano teachers, we have expanded from one course to now 35 or so. So the guitar resources will only grow over time. What we're talking about today is just what we're having for the launch when we open things up. Can you talk us through some of those initial courses? Yeah, so the first one, as I mentioned earlier, is the Guitar Teacher's Roadmap. And this is something that doesn't matter whether you're a beginner guitar player looking to start with teaching or you've been teaching for a couple of months and you're really struggling, or whether you've been at it for a couple of years or even decades, the Guitar Teacher's Roadmap is basically going to go Here's where you should begin. Here's some of the end goals you can work towards. And here's all the steps you need to take along the way to level up your teaching, to improve your business skills, to do some personal development and success mindset principles, as well as pedagogy studies and just being able to have human psychology and learning psychology so that it can build better relationships with students, a team member, your community, all those kind of things. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, the framework that you would build. You go to university, they say, Here's all the things you need to know to become a professional musician. They never say these are all the things you need to become a professional guitar teacher or a professional music teacher. So this is kind of like our blueprint that you need to be a professional. And this doesn't mean that you're a full-time teacher, nor that you have to give up um, you know, playing music. But the idea is that you can quit a nine to five job at a supermarket and stop doing teaching after hours to make extra money, but go, hang on, what if we were teaching for 20 hours and we we're performing for 20 hours and now we're a fulfilled musician who can still support our family and our creative endeavors without having to you know, give up and, and compromise on our lifestyle. So that's what the main program, the roadmap is all about. The next one is gonna be how to teach fundamental skills. So once again, we probably pick up a few things just by teaching guitar uh, and having our own lessons, but most of the method books that you buy tell you what to practice and what to learn, but they never show you how to practice or how to teach practicing. So we're going to go through fundamental skills like your picking and your strumming and picking patterns and how to actually learn pieces and more importantly, how to show your students how to do all those things. So if you want to know the fundamentals of teaching and how to transfer the knowledge you have in your head and the skills that you have in your hands to your students, this how to teach fundamentals course is going to be crucial and that ties in with the third course how to teach concepts so you know here's how you improvise here's creativity concepts here's how you memorize things properly as well as a few of the tips and tricks that i use at melbourne guitar academy and train my teachers on in terms of teaching group lessons teaching private lessons how to help students memorize things properly so there's a whole bunch of teaching concepts that are exclusive to guitar as well as more broader educational principles learning psychology gamification things like that that you do in sports science and martial arts and all the things outside of music like the gym we talked about before all these other industries get things really really right and correct whereas music is often still taught the same way it was in the 60s or even earlier you know would you take physiotherapy advice from a, a physio from the 60s or the 20s would you take medical advice from a doctor from the 60s Probably not, but why are we keeping our musical education, you know, in this dated system? So it's full of all these modern concepts that you need to be putting into your teaching, or at least if you implement some of them, you're going to have that dramatic impact on your students. Topic number four that we're going to look at is basically your first 10 lessons. And this is for the people that, you know, really struggle. It might be for classroom music teachers who aren't guitar specific, or it might be for people who have a classical background and need to know how to teach contemporary students or vice versa. What are the first 10 lessons you have for your students? So I've got a detailed lesson plan, which touches on the 80-20 principles. What are the core 20% of things you need to know 80% of the time, regardless of whether you're a classical player, contemporary player, rock, jazz, blues, metal, and kind of like what you said with tennis, Tim, guitar teachers often overcomplicate things. What they do is they talk about, you've got to know this, and you've got to know that, and you've got to know that. When, if you play football, for example, I'm saying football because it doesn't really matter what kind of football, whether it's soccer or American or Aussie football. You know, you need to be able to kick the ball, you need to be able to catch the ball, you need to be able to tackle people, and you need to be able to run. There's four core skills, and it doesn't matter what you do on the practice field in terms of your drills or your exercise, it's always one of those four core skills. What are our core skills for guitar? It doesn't matter how many variations of the exercises we have. If we focus on these core fundamental 20% of skills we use 80% of the time, then that's going to build the foundation that we need. And we do that in the first 10 lessons to set our students up for long-term success. So there's going to be detailed lesson plans and video explanations for all that in that module. And of course, the last one is student breakthroughs. And this is basically making you the guitar guru or the, the miracle worker that's able to heal anyone from any ailment. So often students will get 
uh, especially self-taught students, they will get hung up on specific problems for months or even years. And if you can solve something that's been holding them back for five years in the space of five minutes time of you, the impact that has on them wins their trust for a lifetime and you know makes you look like the messiah for lack of a better analogy. So whether you want to think of yourself as a doctor, if you go to the doctor, he asks you some questions, he diagnoses you with the problem and he prescribes you the treatment. That's how we want to be with our students a lot of the time when it comes to their technical problems or practice problems or mindset. What's the problem? What's the solution? Here you go. You solve the, solve the problem for them and all of a sudden, you know, you are magical in their eyes. And more often than not, once you've been teaching, you can diagnose these really easy when you know what to look for. And when I was teaching 162 students a week, I was basically doing like, you know, 60 hours of teaching. That was like 162. So basically a thousand lessons every 10 weeks, 4,000 lessons a year there, thereabouts. I got very good, very quickly at identifying problems and they all have similar solutions or a snowballing compounding effect. So this is going to be my knowledge of teaching those, you know, 4,000 lessons in a year, 10,000 lessons every three years and all the things that I learned and what you need to look for. And if you can help your students have these breakthroughs, you're going to win them as customers for life. Whoa, amazing. And if you want to know more about uh, how Michael actually does do that manner of teaching and how he got to where he is, then come and join us because uh, Michael is, uh, he is, as you can tell, so open to sharing. You can ask him any questions. Uh, he only wants, uh, we both only want success for you guys. Now, the other huge benefit of uh, Top Music Guitar being built on our Top Music Pro membership platform is that you also get access to initially a whole lot of business resources that we have already created for music teachers more generally. I'm thinking uh, about things like our Facebook advertising course, course on building a music studio website if you don't have one of those or you need to update that, courses on group teaching and nurturing students on autopilot with automations. We have a massive number of resources. I was just looking there, over 100 resources just on business side of things alone. And Michael, I know uh, for many of the more advanced uh, teachers or teachers that have been teaching for a while, you've got lots of business courses coming uh, in the future too. Just give us a, a couple of ideas that might be rattling around in your head of things that you'd like to create on the business side of things for those that are interested in that. Yeah, well, business is one of my favorite things. Um, I'm a big proponent that you need to get your finances in order and your financial, you know, financial education sorted out. And musicians, I've said this to Tim numerous times, we'll often spend 10,000 hours mastering our instrument, but we won't spend a weekend and $30 reading a book on personal finance or business and getting organized. And how many <laughs> opportunities right. we miss out on that in our business career or our professional performing career because of that's, you know, really, really tragic. So I'm passionate about that. Some of the business courses is just going to be successful. Principles 101, you know, how to determine what you want in life and then visioneer that life, create it in your mind first and then retrospectively build it back from here's where I want to be, whether that's earning $100,000 teaching, whether that's just having a studio that I can teach at 20 hours a week and still play musically and go, what's the step before that? What's the step before that? What's the step before that? Here's where I am now. And then go, cool, now I have a really clear roadmap of all the things that I need to do to go out and make that life happen. And, you know, that for me happened, um, you know, in the past, uh, I was in a relationship where at the time uh, the, the girl I was with said, when are you going to stop playing guitar and get a real job? When are you going to stop worrying about teaching guitar and get a real job? And I, I don't say this to throw it back in her face, but that, you know, a little bit of a fight to go, all right, well, I do have to take this seriously. And for many people listening that they may have similar pressures from their partners, um, but you can go out and do it. I was able to earn not $100,000, not $200,000 as a solo teacher teaching out of a spare room at my parents' house. And, you know, we've gone on to earn multiple hundreds of thousand dollars or more in my teaching business. But this isn't just about how to run a super duper seven figure brick and mortar teaching school. There's absolutely 100% merit in being able to be a solo guitar teacher and just teaching enough money to get by and have the lifestyle that you want. So for me, probably the biggest mistake that I made a bit earlier was thinking that I needed this seven-figure studio where my idea of success prior to that was just making money and making enough to get by. Whereas all you need to be able to do with the whole visioneering thing is determine what you want 
and then what you need to do to make it a reality. So whether you want to be making 50,000 a year, 75,000, 100,000, a million, it doesn't matter. What is the success to you and how do you make it? So to tie into the business modules, we're going to have, you know, how to be a successful solo guitar teacher if you only want to have to worry about yourself and earn enough to support your lifestyle. There's also going to be modules on how to run an actual guitar school and, and a music school in addition to the resources that are already there. And correct me if I'm wrong, Tim, there are a whole bunch of piano resources and general music specific ones on the teaching and the business side of things that there are included in the membership as well. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. That's absolutely right. Uh, and yeah, that, I think that's, you know, just such a great uh, bonus of being a part of the top music crew and, and being part of that membership is that, yeah, we've already got so many valuable courses that teachers are just raving about and we just can't wait to share them with all the guitar teachers of the world. It's going to be epic. <laughs> 100%. And as guitar players, you know, we're lick stealers. If we're all of us contemporary players, you know, we, we get our favorite guitar players, we learn a bunch of their tips and tricks and we implement them. And often when we get finished with guitar players, especially if you're a jazz musician, you go and look at horn players and drummers for their rhythm ideas. And you go and pinch all this stuff from other areas. We're not so much pinching as we are taking the resources are there but just because they work with piano does not mean they're not going to work with guitar so there's a wealth of resources for the piano teachers and the general music teaching we're going to be recreating those specifically for guitar so anything that's a great idea for piano i'm analyzing that dissecting that and recapitulating that and making it more specific to guitar to save you guys all the, the thinking which is better put in other areas, but we're also going to be introducing some of my special concepts and the things that I was able to do to go from a $100,000, $200,000 earning solo teacher right up to what we're doing in Melbourne Guitar Academy as well. So I'm super jealous of you guys, especially if you're just starting because you get to learn from not only my 12 years of uh, experience as a guitar teacher, but Tim's couple of decades learning and the, what was that word you used before? The collective intelligence. The collective genius, yeah, of everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, I was having a look at, I mean, some of the subjects we've covered, um, chords, lead sheets, composing, ear training, uh, improvising, lesson planning, group teaching, online teaching, uh, lots of online teaching stuff because it's still so so relevant at the moment. Productivity, practice, performances, reading, sheet music, software. I mean, the list goes on. We have covered so many areas and we've got so much more to give and create. So, uh, Michael, who's going to get the most from this program out of all those guitar teachers that are, that are listening or friends of the people who are listening? Who is it, who's it really aimed at? If you're a guitar teacher, you are definitely going to get something out of it. And like what I said earlier, depending on where you are in the journey, different things are going to be more relevant to where you are. So, you know, if you're unsure of your teaching skills, you're lacking a little bit of confidence, um, you are going to benefit dramatically from the wealth of concepts, exercises, the pedagogy and teaching resources we have available for you. So if you're after resources and looking for things to save on lesson time, this is going to be a massive win for you. If you're one of those teachers who's, who's got teach heaps of students, you've been teaching for a while, but you're finding that you just can't quite retain students or they're quitting or, you know, you're just frustrated with teaching a certain demographic or age group that doesn't work for you, you are going to get so much out of the business side of things on how to attract a proper client, how to work on your people skills and become magnetic and all those personal development things, which will make you a better teacher and attract high quality students to you so that you end up becoming you know, happier. That is more impactful on your students and you just have a better quality of life because of that. And of course, the people looking to make more money, <laughs> we've got you covered. If you want to make more money, not just so much in the guitar business, but what to do beyond the guitar business and get your whole personal finances sorted. That's my specialty. That's the stuff that you know I love and really like doing. If guitar is my number one passion, making more money is my second biggest passion. And we can all do with more money. It doesn't matter what it is. If you want to help people and donate money, you know, you've know you got to fill up your cup before you can pour it out for other people. So money is good. We want to make sure that all of us have as much money as possible. And money is the tool that buys us the freedom. And it also buys us better music equipment for our studios and more advertising so that we can get more people coming in. But lastly, you know, ultimately, Tim, who are the biggest winners? I would say if you're just starting out on your teaching journey or you're relatively new, you are going to be the biggest winner because what you do is you get the roadmap that we've planned out, which is the 12 years of my experience compounded with all Tim's experience, compounded with everyone that I've ever learned from and the hundreds of thousands of dollars that I've invested into myself in my own personal development. So you are going to be the biggest winner because you get to learn a better way. I won't say the right way because there's a couple of different paths and we'll lay out multiple paths for you. But you get to the, the benefit of having these paths laid out for you and you just pick the most appropriate for you from the beginning. So you're not going to have to make the mistakes that I did. You're not going to have to 
worry about wasting thousands of dollars on Facebook ads because you couldn't get them right the first time or waste thousands of dollars going with dodgy printing guys and they just throw all your flyers away and never distribute a single one. So that, you know, there's lots of horror stories which you'll learn about and pitfalls of music teaching and things like that and business traps. We've already fallen into those and you get to learn from our failures and avoid them. Absolutely. Well, it's all going to be happening on October 18th. That's our launch week. And we're going to be starting with a webinar. And the most exciting thing I think is that we're looking for an exclusive launch crew, right? This is a small group of people who are going to be our first people in and who are going to have some uh, a few little little benefits. So tell us about this, this uh, launch crew. Yeah. So we are looking for the first 50 guitar players on guitar teachers who want to join our top music guitar program. So everyone who joins after the webinar is going to get the standard program, which is going to have basically all the courses and the cool things we've talked about. But what's going to happen for the first 50 to register after the webinar? Can they register before the webinar, Tim, or is it after the webinar only? No, we're going to, yeah, we're going to be doing it on the, on the webinar so that everyone knows exactly what they're going to get and how, how it's going to work and all that kind of stuff. So if you subscribe after the webinar or, or towards the end of the webinar, what's going to happen is you're going to get instant access to all the top music courses and things we've talked about. You're also going to get a special founders membership price. And I believe that's $29 for the month, or if you're looking at doing the annual membership, it's $299. So absolutely outstanding value to consider most coaching programs, you know, uh, $299 per month. The fact you're getting it for $299 per year is outstanding value. And for those first 50 members, what we're going to be including is access to a live weekly Q&A about all things guitar teaching. And we're going to be chucking in three monthly hot seat sessions with me cool and a hot seat for those who don't know what's going to happen is you guys basically get to have 10 minutes in the spotlight and say where you're at in your business what are the specific problems or hurdles that you're facing and you're going to get the exact answer you need to help overcome that problem so i think that's something we were putting on the shelf for a premium product down the or a premium program down the track but that's something for the first 50 people, you guys are going to get put into mastermind groups. So it won't be 50 in one session. You'll get divided up. So you get some personalized time. And we're going to do that for a special three month bonus for the first 50 members. They'll get in a special hot seat group on top of the QA. That is insane. <laughs> uh, Michael, you are providing so much value. It's crazy. And this launch price for this launch crew that come to the webinar and join us, the first 50, that price is going to stay like that for you guys. So, and and trust me, this is not going to stay at this price for very, very long. Um, I can tell you right now, uh, it, it's an insane amount of value that we're providing. But we want to give that to the people who are happy to dive in right at the beginning and really help grow and support the membership as, um, as it develops too. So, you're going to be right in there at the start. I remember right back when I started uh, Top Music Pro, the first initiate, the first, the membership back in March 2016 and we started with a beta launch crew and I think about 85% of them are still with us and we're five years in now and tell you what, they got an absolute steal. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I basically gave it away but they were the ones that supported us and they've been through the entire process. They've been able to chat with me and email me and give advice and get fully involved. So, they're our core crew and that's exactly what we're looking for for our Top Music Guitar crew as well. So, if you happen to know of any guitar teachers, please, please, please share this episode with them or share the information with them. Uh, the webinar, we're going to talk about in just a second what's going to happen on that uh, and we'll give you the sign up um, link in just a moment. But if you are also, if you are someone with a YouTube channel or a blog or anything like that and you're interested in helping us promote this, then um, best to reach out to you probably, Michael, by email. Yeah, so anyone with a guitar-based podcast, blog, webinar, um, or YouTube channel, just reach out, michael at topmusic.co, no M on the end there, michael at topmusic.co, and we will tee up um, an appearance. And, and what we're going to do is hopefully reciprocate any promotion that you're doing for us by hosting a blog article on our website, having you on our podcast um, in, in future. And of course, anything else that we can do to help hosting a video, co-hosting, things like that. So Tim's already done an amazing job of building up a, a piano program and obviously the podcast that you're listening to here, and we're looking to match that or, you know, even increase exponentially on both <laughs> yeah. sides of things um, over the next couple of years. And we'd love to get anyone at any capacity involved. You know, we're all passionate about guitar and what we do. And, you know, we might think that just because we're a luthier, 
um, we not, might not be relevant to guitar teaching, but would you like to be able to inspire and share your journey and your story with someone about how you got into the trade of building guitars? Or if you're a, an online author, there's a wealth of guitar teachers, especially in this digital age, who want to know how to get their products on Amazon or want to know how to get publishing deals and things like that or release eBooks. So even if you might not think it's directly relevant, if you teach guitar in any capacity, whether it's your own channel, whether it's writing books, we want to hear from you. We want to connect with you. We want to help you get your resources, your story, your message out to other guitar teachers so that we can all inspire each other and all help each other get ahead. So cool. All right, well, let's wrap up by uh, talking about the webinar quickly. So, totally free webinar. It's coming up uh, on about the 17th, 18th of October. We'll have exact details of the timing because it's that time of the year, Michael, when daylight saving starts shifting around the world and it's an absolute... <laughs> It's an absolute nightmare to keep up with, but we will have uh, really clear details. But it's the 17th in uh, USA, 17th of October, 18th here in Australia um, and Asia. What's happening uh, in the webinar, Michael? So the webinar is titled, you know, A Modern Approach to Guitar Teaching and How to Make Your Lessons Fun, Exciting and Engaging so that your students keep learning with you for years to come. And, you know, in brackets, in a digital world where everyone's attention span is about seven seconds long. So obviously, <laughs> Thanks, guys, TikTok. we're not competing with other guitar teachers. We're competing with PlayStations. We're competing with Xbox, with TikToks, with social media. And our students are used to that instant gratification. So the webinar is all about basically how to keep your students on the path. Here's where they are when they start with you. Here's their end goal. And obviously, there's a million things that can knock them off that path and distract them. So we're going to go over core topics of five things that you can do in order to make your lessons fun, exciting, and motivating and engaging so that your students stay on that path of learning with you. We're also going to lay out that framework and talk about all those core essential skills, the 80-20 principle, all the steps you need to take to lay out that path and keep them on the path so they stay with you for years. And lastly, we'll go over the core mistakes that most guitar teachers are making that are costing them hundreds, if not thousands of dollars that we as teachers teachers do unknowingly that knock our students off the path, whether that's overwhelming them or whether that's giving them way too much to think about or just being unaware of why they're there in the first place, which means that they quit prematurely. And I've said this numerous times, like how many more Jimi Hendrixes or Eddie Van Halens or Eric Clapton's or Ed Sheeran's would the world have if students weren't put off learning by bad teachers or teachers that had good intentions but just didn't know any better and that's why we're launching top music so that we can help our students up so we can help our teachers sorry level up their teaching their people skills their business knowledge to be more impactful on their students so of course that's the general top music philosophy that we're going for become a better teacher help the next generation of guitar players do better so that we have more guitar players in the world and we have more people that stick with it beyond the first six months of learning and we're going to give you the condensed framework of that in the webinar with the things you need to do to make lessons more engaging how to set that path out for them and keep them on the path and of course all the things you need to avoid doing that's going to knock them off that path prematurely so they stay learning with you for years absolutely looking forward to it. it's going to be so good michael and you summarize the whole mission of top music absolutely beautifully we want more musicians in the world how like that's what we want right it's uh we know for a fact just the all the benefits of, of music learning on children and adults uh, and how much fun we have as teachers as well. So that can only be a great thing. So come and join us on the webinar. It's totally free. The sign-up link is topmusic.co slash webinar. Topmusic.co slash webinar. It is a simple, simple process. Just chuck in your name and email and we will send you all the details with some reminders uh, about when we're going live. If you can't watch it live, we will offer a replay for a limited time. It'll be about uh, 48 hours or thereabouts. But obviously, the, the real benefit of any webinar is coming live which and we've tried to find a time when as many people can come as possible around the world. Come live because you can then ask questions, you can interact with us, you can get the most value possible from it. Uh, so, yeah, try and commit to coming along. Uh, as I said, the details for the exact time will be plastered all over all our social media ch channels uh, on the show notes for this podcast episode on our blog. So you won't be able to miss it. And um, if you've got any questions at all, uh, you can always email Michael to michael at topmusic.co. And where do they sign up for the mailing list, Tim? Because, of course, if they're on the mailing list for our guitar teachers, they're going to get the uh, direct details emailed to them. 
So that link is topmusic.co slash guitar. If you'd like to sign up for our wait list or you're just not too sure about the webinar or how anything's going to happen, if you just want to get on our list to be notified of anything that's happening in regard to guitar, then head to topmusic.co slash guitar and leave your details over there. You'll be able to see Michael in action rocking the guitar on that page. It's a super cool picture. Michael. So good to hang out with you. Thank you so much for all that you're doing, all the preparation work that uh, that's continuing on as we move towards that launch date. Uh, it's an epic undertaking and I'm just so glad that that passion that you have is uh, going to be unleashed on the guitar teachers of the world. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait, Tim. And again, thank you for the opportunity to do this. It's been a long time coming and I'm glad we finally got to launch it. You know, I missed the, the COVID chaos and all these kind of things here, but this is the time for change. The whole world is changing. And if you're a guitar teacher wanting to improve your skills and need help navigating into this new digital age, as well as build your own offline business and things like that, you know, now is the time to get help. Now is the time to learn from the experts. And now is the time to get yourself set up so that you, no matter what happens with the economy, no matter what happens with the world, you are prepared as best you come. And you know, success is when preparation meets opportunity. So take this opportunity, subscribe to the mailing list, Click on the link. I'm sure we'll be posted with this podcast of the webinar. We'll see you in October for the webinar. And thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for having me, Tim. Thanks, Michael. We'll see you there. Bye. Well, I hope you're as excited as we are for the launch of Top Music Guitar. And as I said right at the start, if you know of any guitar teachers, please do share this episode with them or share one of the two following links with them. If you or the person you know who's a guitar teacher would like to go on our waiting list, our interest list, where we'll be keeping you up to date with everything that happens re-Top Music Guitar, then just go to topmusic.co slash guitar. You guessed it. (laughs) And if you would like to come along to our launch webinar, this is a big event. We are putting a lot of time and effort into this one and it's going to be huge. Lots of guitar teachers from around the world and lots to learn and to talk about. It's basically a global guitar teacher roundup all in one place, round table. And it's happening on the 18th of October at 11 a.m. Melbourne time. So that's the 17th of October. That's Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern uh, United States. And that's 5 p.m. Sunday afternoon in Los Angeles. If you're over in Europe, then you'll have to be a bit of a night owl for this one because that's at 1 a.m. London time, 2 a.m. on the continent. But we will be sharing a replay, as I said. So do sign up, join us. You'll be able to watch the replay and get connected with us. But we'd love to see you live as well. Topmusic.co slash webinar is where to go. And we cannot wait to meet you and see you there. And as I said, if you're a regular listener to this show and you know someone who's interested in becoming a guitar teacher, it might be a young student, even someone that you teach who might be interested in that, or a more experienced guitar teacher, then please do share these details with them. We would love to see as many guitar teachers from around the world as possible joining us then. So topmusic.co slash guitar to get on our wait list and to join the webinar, topmusic.co slash webinar. Cannot wait to see you all there. Thanks so much for joining me today. Next week on the show, your host is going to be the wonderful Nicole from our community team. She's actually going to be talking about a bit of an unusual topic, but such an important one. It's actually going to be all about trauma-informed teaching. Uh, I'm not going to say anything more about it right now, but make sure you check in, tune in, tune in, check it out. Uh, we'll see you again this time next week. For more information about this episode and to find out how to enhance your own teaching, visit topmusic.co. You'll find everything you need for your studio from lesson plans to cheat sheets, quick win teaching ideas and guides on how to build your teaching business. Plus, you'll be connected to a global community of the world's top music teachers. And when you're ready, join hundreds of other teachers around the world by becoming a Top Music Pro member and get access to all our bonus content and flagship courses. And don't forget to follow topmusic.co on social media and subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen to it. That's all for today. We'll see you in the studio.